and welcome to the news update on Enterprise TV. I am Henry Igwebike. Operatives of the Nigerian army have killed a fighter with the indigenous people of Biafra during a fierce gun battle in Imo State. After overpowering the fighters, the troops conducted a clearance operation on their hideout. In a statement by the Director, Army Public Relations, Major General Onyema Nwachuku on Sunday said, the troops recovered three improvised explosive devices and other arms and ammunitions. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency has arrested AGK Chibuike Solomon, a 40-year-old businessman. The agency said Solomon was intercepted with 1.45 kilograms of cocaine concealed in his luggage at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. A statement by the NDLEA spokesperson said Solomon was on his way to Baden, an Ethiopia airline flight number 950 to Vietnam via Addis Ababa on March 2nd when NDLEA officers subjected him to a Tara search. He said in the process, the illicit substance was discovered concealed a factory fitted in his bag. Two policemen have been beaten to vet and two others injured by a mob at Igbeshi in Akuku Edo local government area of Edo State. The mob action followed by an accident involving a Toyota Hilux vehicle belonging to escort duty policemen in the convoy of former Edo House of Assembly member Emmanuel Agbaje, which hit a motorcycle resulting in the tragic death of the rider, a woman and her child. The Lagos State Internal Revenue Service has issued a formal notification to all individual taxpayers, including self-employed individuals and employees under the pay-as-you-earn scheme to file their annual tax returns on or before March 31, 2024. The LIRS, in a statement by its executive chairman, Ayodele Subai, on Sunday said, the move was in compliance with the stipulations outlined in the Personal Income Tax Amendment Act of 2011. In foreign news, Nikki Haley has defeated Donald Trump in the Republican primary in Washington, D.C. This is her first victory over the former president in the 2024 campaign to become the Republican presidential candidate. She lost in South Carolina, her home state, but she is the first woman to win a Republican primary in U.S. history. Trump, however, has a huge lead over Haley and is likely to face Joe Biden in the November election. In the sports news, Arsenal are stepping up their pursuit of sporting striker Victor Giocaris ahead of the summer transfer window. Gokeris has been in a sensational form this season, scoring 32 goals in 35 appearances across all competitions since leaving champion side Coventry City last year. The 25-year-old performances have gained the attention of some of Europe's biggest club, with the Gunners said to be among them. That's all we have for our news update today. Please do well to visit our website at www.enterprisetvnews.com. Like, comment, and follow us on all our social media platforms at Enterprise TV7. I am Henry. You could be here. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth.